Hey, good morning everyone, Frank Valkyrie here, welcome to the channel, let's dive straight into this nice talk. As you know, I make reactions here on music and I'm a singer, but because we're growing, I wanted to do for a long time already a nice Q&A. So let's use this video that for you, you can leave comments, you can leave your questions, and then I use those questions to make another video Q&A. And in this video, I want to start to share something about my life. So because we are having this nice intimate conversation, an intimate relationship, mm, it's not creepy at all. It's not creepy at all. So let's start by sharing something about my life. And probably you notice that most of the time I'm alone in this house, just with my imaginary battler. But yes, probably you guessed I'm single. I've been single for the past four and a half years or so. And truth to be told, in the beginning I thought it was more of a decision out of fear of having to go through the whole mambo jumbo again because like anybody else I've been in relationships and also long ones. In my 20s I was almost for nine years with the same woman in the same house, not the same house. We were on one, two, three, four, five houses going around because that's what you do when you're 20 and you're trying to find your way around. <sighs> but anyway, you, you know, you guessed it. Like everybody else, I had my own experiences. And also after that, of course, I was uh, for another four years with uh, another woman. Uh, very informative, <laughs> very informative journey and trip. And um, when I came back from uh, LA in 2015, which also had uh, a small relationship in that period and a long distance one after that, and then we decided that, you know, wasn't the case. Uh, I started, when I came back from Los Angeles, I lived there for three months. I really started to focus on my life. You know, I came back with um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of uh, questions for myself, where I was heading. Now I'm 43, at the time I was like 37, 38. And um, so when I came back, I was really like, okay, I gotta, I gotta speed up the process here. You know, like many of you out there, I'm just making myself, I'm creating myself. And I started from ground zero, actually below zero, and uh, everybody has a different story and you got to keep grinding, you got to keep working. So when I came back, I had this realization, okay, less distraction, I got to put in the work. I got to focus more constantly every day. So the main focus when I came back became my work, my business, uh, which I still have today and I work on it today. My import business uh, from Italy, uh, food import from Italy, and then also my musical career, and my YouTube channel that it's been very in the past year, something that I really wanted to do and grow. So the more I push forward, the more I'm focused on what really makes my life and can potentially make my life better in the direction that I really truly desire. So all of those other things, they became less compelling to me. So from just being afraid, um, having the feeling of being afraid, of committing or being in a relationship, I realized that there was more to it. And this, of course, is just my story for everybody is different. I realized I don't need so much that right now. So I'm not saying that I'm against people being together because it's the most natural thing ever, especially when people want to start a family. But then again, that it's a completely different side of the story and life. You know, people at a certain point they get into that phase where they feel the need of procreating, having their own family. Women, they really feel strongly the need to have children and, and, and guys to become fathers. And it's all great. It's all normal. But I never really felt that urge. I've never really felt that urge of becoming a father. So I started to be more honest with myself and getting out of also the pressure that society puts on you. You know, nowadays also for a woman, sometimes that doesn't want to have kids seems like strange, you know, also for guys not to wanting to have kids, when in fact it's also normal. It's the part of, of life and the variable of, of choices that human can make in their own existence. Uh, to live their life however they want without feeling the pressure of society of religions which most of the time is the culprit of for people to feel the pressure to begin with so once i stepped out of the box and not feeling that i was strange for not having those feelings i began more and more honest also in the way i interact with others of course i do go on dates 
I live in a city, it's easy to go on dates, and I'm talking about going for a coffee, sitting with somebody new, uh, just enjoy each other interaction, doesn't have to lead anywhere, like literally you sit, have a coffee or a snack or a dinner, and it ends there, you know another human being, potentially could lead somewhere, potentially don't, but it's just the, the, the part of CD life, the people, the way you interact socially. So I do that, but I do that with a lot of honesty, with no expectations when I bring in, you know, myself, because also nowadays relationship, people bring in themselves with what they have, their baggage. And that was most time than not, we try to sort of compensate what we don't have in the search into somebody else, you know, from someone else. And that's also something that I realized and I started to go more inward, look inward into me and tell me like, okay, I got to find that spark. I got to find that well where my self love resides and just make sure that keeps flowing and keeps going because I have to love myself. I have to fully embrace myself, completely self love myself. Otherwise, there is no way I can interact with any other human being in a very honest, pure way. It's just not going to work. And again, like I said, in this period is functioning well for me like this. But, I, you know, I'm open to the idea of spending time with another human being, of course. So we will see. But you got to be honest. You got to be open. And you still have to be committed to yourself first. If you're not committed to yourself, it's just... You just distract yourself, you know, you just like going in loops. And that's something that I've done the mistake in the past and I don't want to see myself repeating those things anymore. So I'm really focusing on me. And for some people, this might sound like egotistical or being egoist. To me, it just sounds like you got to create your life. You got to create your life. And if you don't have other urges or strong feelings of being a father or doing a family, then focus on your life because that's the only thing you have. Nobody can do it for you. Nobody can love you enough. You cannot get nothing from other people in their way, uh, but you have to start from within. And when you start from within, then all the other love pours in, pours in from every other places. So uh, this is where I met basically. And again, like I said, um, being together is one of the most natural things, but there are so many ways of relating, you know? This is also another thing that I've learned, the sort of paradigm of monogamy uh, that we have always been shown in family. It's, it's one, and it's natural, and it's there, but also in the animal world, which has been like that for hundreds, uh, you know, or millions of years, uh, animals, they stay together, or the kids, they stay until they're ready to go. The cubs or the chicks, they stay until they're ready to go. And we are a little bit of an anomaly in the way of our relationship they carry on for the rest of our lives. But that's just a variable, a very uh, a common one. But there are so many other ways of interacting. And the more I grow, the more I also realize this, that uh, once you over overcome sort of the perception that uh, there is only the, this monogamous way of interacting, then the door are open to a lot more possibilities. It's difficult. It's difficult because when it comes down to basically the fear of your partner or the person you're with being with somebody else physically, uh, it's uh, of course always scary because when you're intimate, you show your vulnerability, especially when you uh, have uh, sexual intimacy with your partner, of course, then all your uh, quirks and things are revealed and your vulnerabilities are revealed and uh, we don't want to share that or we don't want to have the feeling that the other person that we we have shown ourselves can go somewhere else also because it makes us feel insecure and the fear of rejection and all of those other things but once you work those things out you also opens up the door to much more possibilities because i do believe that in nature the majority of people potentially are polyamorous so here we are, we shared a little bit of inner working of my head. Let me know where you stand and how you stand on this subject. And again, take it with a grain of salt. We're just sharing thoughts here. It's nothing final. It's not absolute truth. It's just trying to make sense of our own existence as we go. But still stay focused on what matters. What matters to me right now is to create my life to be the better 
version of myself that I've ever been and that's the objective so that's it always spread love don't forget to ask your question right there many questions all the questions all the naughty questions too and always spread love i said one two three four five six seven seven nine ten for coffee try wow